Good day. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of copper 2 sulfide. Simple process, let's just create a little table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing I'm going to do is write down the element uh, or elements that I see in the compound. So we have copper and we have sulfur. Next is then to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see a subscript, there's a one down there. All right, so there's one atom of copper. Same thing for sulfur. There's both ones at the bottom. And then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. These masses are found on the periodic table. So copper's mass is 63.55. Sulfur is about 32.07. So that's what we're going to plug in. 63.55, 32.07. And then we're simply going to multiply this row and across to find the total mass of that particular element. So the total mass of copper here is simply going to be 63.55 units of mass. And then sulfur is going to be 32. 32.07. And then if we want to find the total mass of the entire compound, which is what we're trying to do here, we're going to simply add them together. So this works out to be 95.62. 95.62. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units are in grams per mole. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molar mass of copper 2 sulfide. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.